here in the studio, so uh, we should hear what she has to say. Uh, with a reminder that we invite you to join the conversation by calling 813-239-9663 or emailing us at dj at wmnf.org. Let's welcome Heidi Ilgen to Talking Animals. Hello, Heidi. Hi, how are you? It's really great, and as I kind of alluded to uh, beforehand, we're off there. So happy to have an in-studio guest. It just doesn't happen often enough for my... Uh, from my preference. So, anyways, thank you for coming and uh, welcome, welcome. So, um, there, there, there's, gosh, there's just so many things I'm interested in discussing with you and, and, and learning. But, um, but I thought we might start by addressing things that many uh, might need to sort of unlearn. What, what's the biggest um, misconception surrounding guide dogs? Would you say? I would say one of the biggest misconceptions is a lot of people think that the dogs don't enjoy what they're doing and. Uh, that is a big falsification. These dogs absolutely love what they're doing. Um, they're raised and bred primarily they were uh, hunting dogs, retrieving dogs, and we're filtering that energy into a different field. And when these dogs see the harnesses and their leashes and collars come out, they're more than happy to go to work and, and do a job. And uh, the personality that you see with them is an attestment to that. And when you ask most people, wouldn't you love to bring your dog to work with you every day or go with you every place that you travel, most people would love to be able to do that. So for a person who is blind, it's, it's a wonderful thing to be able to gain independence, but they also take this uh, wonderful companionship that they gain with them uh, everywhere they go with their dog. And, and um, so I, I should mention that you, you did bring a dog with you today, the lovely Sandy. And, um, and perhaps I should also say that when, when you first got to the station and we kind of introduced ourselves, um, I asked about touching or, or petting uh, Sandy. I mean, uh, first of all, do, do people tend to do this or not do this? Or what, what, what do you find in your experience? I think a lot of people want to reach out and touch the dog because they are bred and raised to be very social and friendly because they do have to go out into the general public and most of us are animal lovers. I would say probably 90% of the people that are on this earth are animal lovers and it's a natural instinct to want to reach out and, and pet, a, uh, pet a dog especially when they personify a very friendly attitude but it, it can be very dangerous for the blind person if you do reach out and pet the dog when it's in its harness which is in its work mode because it can become a distraction to somebody who cannot see and uh, you know the, the danger is that one day you may be across the street and the dog is so used to seeing you and, and getting attention that the dog may actually want to go across the street to say hello so as hard as it is it's, it's better to ask the person who has the dog um, if you're allowed to pet it if it's okay and sometimes the person will say it's okay but they like to take the equipment off the harness that the dog is in so the dog knows when it's on and off duty. 